What do we have here? Two boxes. And they're both Miguron knives. Now this one has been opened because I got it for Christmas so I couldn't like not open it. But I thought I'd put it back in the box just so you could feel like, you know, you're seeing the box for the first time and unboxing, blah, blah, blah. But also really to see the box because they kind of do a nice job on the box. Look at this. So it's a box and then it's got like a little, you know, a box inside the box. And you get you know, like a card. What does the card say? It's got the, their little logo on it. And all that good stuff. What does it say on the back there? Let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool stuff, man. Now this guy's a little front flipper. Let's get this junk out of the way. Oops, I flubbed it. I'm not the best with front flippers. Um, this one's pretty nice. Oh, I got the blade all dirty already. I actually used it some to open a couple of packages Christmas time. A little tape residue on there. Uh, the lock access could be better. I noticed that right away. Oh, what one is this? This is the Miguron. The Vazo. V-A-Z-O. The Vazo. Interesting name. So, it could use a little better um, access, but it feels pretty smooth, man. Um, really, it needs more, a little more access to the, the flipper. Right there, you get kind of jammed up your thumb up against the edge of the knife if they kind of rounded that off it'd be better but yeah, it is what it is I mean I could change it but so the Miguron Viso it's kind of a little gentleman's knife kind of a CEO style titanium pocket clip this might be titanium uh, collars there I'm not sure well that looks like just one bolt that might be a collar uh, nice micarta. Micarta is very grippy, but yet smooth. Really nice stuff. So, they did good on that one. Um, it's kind of a little square-shaped deal, so it's, it's not the best in the hand, but I mean, it's not bad. The pocket clip feels pretty good. It's funny, the pocket clip almost kind of goes into a place where it almost helps with the grip. Unlike most, you know, since it's such a nice skinny uh, handle, I don't know, the pocket clip seems to almost help with the grip, not hurt. I like that swedge down the top there, it's pretty neat. Um, what is the blade steel? I don't remember. I will check and we'll put the blade steel up here for the. Uh, uh, oh, that's not it. What's it called? for the Vazo. But, you know, um, I don't think it was super expensive either. I think it's like 35, 40 bucks, maybe something like that. Uh, might have been a little more. I'm not sure, but not too bad. I'll put the price up there too and we'll, and we'll link these down in the description. Pretty cool knife. Let's practice. Let's practice our front flipping together. Do you have a front flipper nearby? Grab it. And let's go. Ready? One, two, three, open. One, two, three, close. One, two, three, open. One, two, three, close. One, two, three, open. One, two, three, close. It is getting kind of drop shutty. It was a little uh, tight at first. I loosened it up a tiny bit and put a little bit of oil in it. And it's, I'd say it's almost drop shutty. Oh, I flubbed it. I was, that was going to be the last one, and I flubbed it. That's sad. Oh, that's nice. So when you open it, and then you let it hit that first detent, or the only detent, then you pop it. Oh, that's so neat. Definitely kind of a fidget-friendly little knife, even though it only has the front flip only. Usually I kind of like them to have not just one means of operating. All right, so we'll set that guy over here. This one I have not opened yet. Let's open it with the other one. It's a great idea. Unless I cut myself. Then it would be a stupid idea. Now this is the one that everyone's kind of talking about being kind of a, I don't know, kind of a budget grail a little bit. So 
So let's see if it lives up to the to the hype. This is the Miguron Velona. I think this one is black on black ninja style. If I remember right. At least that's what I meant to order. Whoopsie. Messed that up. Can't sell that as new anymore. Come on. Alright, it's pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. Oh, that's a good size knife now. Okay. Damn, I didn't know if I was expecting something quite that big. That's that's a little chunk. Okay, let's see what we got here. G10. Peel ply texture. A little tiny bit of the frame or the liner sticking out. So shadow box a little bit. Right away I'm noticing it could use a little bit more chamfering on that edge. It's a little bit of a sharp edge. See that little edge right there? We could we could put a little more of a 45 degree on that. The backspacer is looking good. I like that a lot. How the backspacer ties in with the little jimping. Goes across the uh, liner there and then drops down. And then the uh, scale has no jimping. It's kind of cool. What do we got? Two body screws. Titanium clip. Oh, okay. So look, the uh, let's open it up and get a look at that blade anyway. That's a little tight too. Feeling a little tight. Oh, reverse flick is nice. That fuller is really nice. It's a deep fuller. You can really get a hold of it. Let's see, thumb. Ah, boy, I feel like, yep. I feel like with some practice and getting it loosened up, we can probably thumb flick it. I'm going to cut my thumb off. But reverse flick is awesome. Yeah, needs to be a little loosened up, maybe cleaned out, oiled up. It's really nice, though. And we could put a little bit more of a bevel on these edges. But what I was noticing was the, um, the shadow boxed kind of liners, they have quite a bit showing here at the top. Not as much, not quite as much there on the bottom. It's kind of interesting how they did that. Reversible pocket clip, too. That's... Almost uh, unusual for the titanium clips to have them reversible, I feel like. I think this is a really nice one. The blade length's got to be almost four inches. That sucker is pretty long. I'm going to move this junk out of the way and then pause and then grab a tape measure. Okay, so let's see. Let's check both these blades, you know. Why not? All right. So that one's bigger than three. I was kind of surprised. So we got three. We'll call it three and a quarter. It's just about three and a quarter on this guy, which is pretty nice. Yeah, what's the handle looking like? About four inches, so... Yeah, not bad ratios if you care about that. This guy, it's got to be close to four inches. Oh, over four inches. Even at the shortest point, it's a hair over four inches. Look at that. And down here at the at the actual edge, shit. Boy, it's over four, four and an eighth on the edge. Definitely not drop shutty though. I was kind of expecting a little more drop shettiness out of the balloon now. Let's see. Let's see. So here's how you can kind of check if your pivot is maybe too tight. So you have the blade about here and then press your uh, lock bar over so the detent is off the blade. And then you see, well, I'm pressing against the, the flipper tab too. So you want to see if the blade just flops around now and it doesn't. So I'm going to say Either the pivot's a tad tight, um, or it's a little gunked up. I don't know. Let's see. Do I have a tool here? Okay, that one's too small. Yeah, that's what she said. This one's a good-sized tool. Let's see. Back the screw out a little bit. Then tighten it back in. Then we'll see if we got some play. Lots of play. Too much. Mm 
back it out of here more. Still a bit of play. I want no play, but only just barely no play. Almost. It's the tiniest bit more. Okay. We're going to call that no play. And it's about it. See, look, you can see now. Look, let's listen. Is there any play? Ah, a tiny, tiny bit. We've got one more little bit. But it was a bit too tight. Okay. Yeah, that got it. Oh, look at that drop now, though. Woo, see, it should wobble around like that if your pivot's not too tight. It's still not quite drop shutty, but much better. Much better. Let's put a drop of oil in it, too. I use just regular old plain 3-in-1 oil sometimes. So this is like a PTFE 3-in-1. And man, it comes out fast. So I'm holding it over here so I can just see one drop and not get oil all over everything. Boy, don't cut your damn finger messing with this stupid thing. Okay. I can kind of shake it off now. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, it's got a better sound now. How is that? Ooh, that's got a nice old talk. Man, I like this one a lot. Okay, so it's not quite drop shutty, but I feel like it's going to be. A month from now, after flip it, flipping it 10,000 times, she's going to be drop shutty as hell. So, Miguron, what are they about? So I looked into Miguron a little bit, just a little cursory glance, and... Because you know, I didn't know anything about them other than I heard oh, that they make a nice budget knife, and it's really nice. And that is freaking correct. Look at this. I flipped this knife about a hundred times while I was reading about them. It's drop shutty now. I mean, that is crazy. So nice. Um, they make some pretty nice high-end looking stuff. It reminds me of um, a little bit of Reich. A little bit of we, um, a little bit of, you know what? I'm going to show a few of them up here. You can kind of get the idea of what they're, what they're about. They're higher end stuff. Um, but this one reminds me a lot of Civivi and a, uh, not Best Tech, Kubi. It reminds me of if Civivi and Kubi had a big giant baby. And the baby was actually kind of cuter than both of the parents. But that's kind of the feel. And sounds better than both the parents do. Just listen to that. Oof. The uh, flipper tab makes it the best sound. The reverse flick. Not quite as cool sounding because your hand is kind of deadening the, I don't know, whatever resonance is coming between the... Uh, parts of the body. What do we got here? A little bit of a double clutch? No, nah, not much because the blade's so heavy. It just pulls right through the double clutch. What's the lockup looking like here? Oh, perfect. About 33%. 33.3, I think. The uh, pivot side could look a little nicer. I mean, it's just kind of, they could have done a little 3D on it. You now, is that uh, being nitpicky? Yeah, it is. It's almost like this side looks a little better than the show side. And again, we could do better on this uh, chamfering right there. And one reason why you would want to do a little more of a, eh, what would you call it, a little more of a curved you know, shape here is because this is a thick boy. Um, I, know, I mean, it doesn't feel super thick because it's so damn big, but um, here's a... Um, what is this thing? A Cancept. It's just basically your standard thickness. And, I mean, that boy is a good bit thicker. An eighth of an inch thicker. So, yeah, the Migurant is a thick boy and a big boy. It's funny, it doesn't, it just feels like a big knife, you know? So it doesn't feel too fat in the hand. But if they contoured that a little bit, uh, you know, brought this chamfer over to maybe there all the way up and down 
uh, it would feel very very nice in the hand and it does now it feels good in the hand now and again kind of like the other one the pocket clip is in a perfect place it kind of fits into like one of the nooks in your hand it just feels like it's not even there boy that fuller is awesome so deep you can slow roll it easy like I'm not even having to press down real hard to do it reverse flick is amazing Let's see. Yeah, the double clutch is not really even there. It's just me letting it stop before it needed to. And then it still goes down. Even the closing sounds nice. That's a really nice knife, man. I mean, this is just first impressions, but bam. Miguron, uh, they weren't lying when they said that these were nice. All right, there's your Miguron Valona and your Miguron, what was it called? Vaso. Yeah, we will see more of these guys for sure. Well, I mean, this one, it is what it is. It's nice. I'm not saying it's not nice. I would definitely, I'm not going like, to get rid of it or anything. It's nice. But um, this one is something special. Uh, it's really, really, really nice. All right, guys, grab one of these things before the prices start going up, if they haven't already. Have a nice day.